Ready? Hi, I'm Kelly from Chasing Bones. Uh, today we are at a location I already forgot. But, uh, on a contrary, we are here to do a preliminary. A, pl a plumber. Preliminary? A preliminary of the area. We're gonna take in the feel. Okay. Hi, I'm Blaine. Blaine Blaze, Chasing Bones Inspectors, and my own Blaine Blaze stuff. Anyway, uh, so we came here a couple days ago, Dad and I looked around, and decided we're going to do an investigation and in-depth stuff. Today we're doing a preliminary. Decided to bring Kelly with us. It's her first, like she wasn't with us the other day. Uh, we wanted to get, well I wanted to get uh, her recording on recording of how she feels because she feels the opposite or the parts I can't of empathy and stuff so we figured we'd get her stuff here on a preliminary walkthrough we're gonna come back on a later date to do a bit more hi Danny here from Jason Bones Inspectors and I've got coffee okay at this point I'm gonna just be following uh, Blaine and Kelly I want Blaine to take Kelly over to the area just over here see what uh, they both feel at this point okay Bring her up to that part in the water. Yeah, bring her up here first. Okay, so we're gonna take a lift left. Okay, we'll wait for her dad to catch up. <laughs> and just go right up into those trees there. Or buried. Well, that too. I mean, <laughs> never know. You don't want someone digging up somebody's grave. You got milk on your nose. What'd you just say about the grave? Well, I'm assuming there might have been someone killed here because I got like a weird feeling in my chest like being stabbed. Hmm, um, interesting. And the foundation that they're supposed to be here, maybe someone decided to put cement over top of multiple graves. 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 English is not my best subject. Like a graveyard or like a mass unknown grave or what kind of thing are you feeling? Uh... Four, like five, four or five spread out in the area it's not in this particular area though but like in in the nearby how about go up that way a bit okay what do you mean blah i walked through something or someone all right describe okay it's really cold and it's really sad that? Okay. Uh, um, that's about all I can get right now. Oh, okay. okay, keep going. Up there. This is what I want to bring you to. You can see the emotional and physical part. I just see things. Stand a little bit closer together. There you go. Um, okay. Regret. Sorrow. Anger. Confusion. Why did this happen to me? And it's really cold in this area. And I'm not talking about the wind. <laughs> I'm talking about the feelings I'm getting from them. How's your stomach and gut and such? I feel like I'm going to throw up. How about you? I'm good. But I mean, I've got my barrier and all my protection stuff and I'm not that kind of empathetic towards the dead. You feel what they felt before they died. I don't. I see what happened before they died. What What do you feel now, though, in this area? Well, part of what I'm feeling is being obscured because my blood sugar is currently low. That being aside, um, my vision is there's a hole and there's just bodies body after body being piled inside the hole. Do not open. No, that's not creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll imagine that there's candles there. No, it's fine. Again. Uh, there's a, a steel that's bolted to the ground here, guys. I'm not going to show it to you because... Anyway, there's a steel plate that's been bolted to the ground with a sign that says do not open and there's a bunch of candles and stuff and a couple of uh, at least six, at least candles, six candles so yeah it's probably not a good thing no all right be right back okay so basically what i found out about this location so far 
there was a little plague that went through here. And the people from the hospital, as they were dying, they started to lose their mind a little bit and got caught. They didn't understand nothing. As they passed, they, they died. They ended up, this is not the only place. There's two or three other places in town um, where, where people were just buried. No markers, no nothing. Uh, because they were really afraid that the um, plague would continue. So they were all thrown in pits and burnt, and then they fill it up with uh, dirt and debris and, yeah. So this, this is one of those locations. Hold on. What you, what you got there? He keeps on asking why. Why me? Yeah, well that's something that we're going to we're gonna do an uh, investigation on in this area about. Um, like I say, uh, I was talking to a bunch of people that, that knew about this. Um, can't find paperwork on it or anything at this point. I've been trying to get uh, some of that, but... Uh, nobody even wants to admit that it happened, so... If you don't say it out loud, it's not real. Right. Do you think that some people could have been put in there, wrongly accused, to, that were healthy, and could have died innocent? Well, yeah, I mean, let's say there was two people in the family that had the disease, and the other two lived with them. Okay. They might not have wanted to take chances that, you know, okay. like, who knows? Any last thoughts on this spot before we move on? Okay, so when we were here earlier, just Dad and I, um, I was standing actually just a little bit over there. Um, in, in the, that way. Anyway, um, I was looking off to, in the, to the trees there, and I heard a... Here, I'm, I'm up over there. So I was looking out in this area, and I heard 13, maybe 14 voices saying it's here it's here it's coming kind of a thing so I felt like there was a group trying to hide from something or someone uh, and they were trying to warn me that something's in the area no. that they were worried or <coughs> nervous about or scared of even okay well we'll do a uh, spirit boxes and stuff and see what we can find out all right all right, so we're walking here, uh, passing those birch trees, and I just hear, you know, life's a birch. Your <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. dad has something to say here, so we'll turn the camera. Yeah. Okay, so there's, there was act, last time we were here, there was some activity over here. Uh, I was gonna go down. What was that? I was going to go down to the water. What is that? That's an old hike. Huh. Ah. How are you doing? I just saw an old hike at the trees. You want to head that way? Uh, I, uh, I don't... Kelly on the camera there. I don't feel comfortable walking in closer, but I know I'm going to have to eventually. Oh yeah, we're absolutely heading towards that little tree area. Okay. 100%. All right. All right. Follow, follow us along. All right, let's, uh, let's play follow the leader. Okay, hold on. Uh, so, I normally don't really feel what the spirits feel or anything. I feel nauseous all of a sudden, so that's fun. <laughs> oh, Kelly's down. Spiralatrus down, Spiralatrus down. Dad's heading on. Do you want me to follow you or wait with Kelly? Okay, she's okay. She's she's regained her uh, composure. Don't worry, satisfaction brought him back. Okay, good. I do have nine lives. <laughs> Small fire pit. Someone wanted to burn something. That's okay, we got a witch stick here. Stand here and look that way at them. It's a witcher mark. It's a W. It's a witcher mark. Son of a gun. They weren't in that position when we were here last time. No, they weren't. 
someone someone or something decided to move them back into their quote unquote proper. You have something to say, speak. Talk into the camera. I hear cackling, like someone cackling. Do you hear yeah, that? Yeah, I, I heard that too. There's definitely something here. Kelly's down. Uh. The pressure, the energy and pressure is a little bit high for her to continue, it seems. Uh, can you shoot right down here? Right between those trees, I just seen a shadow person go right across there. I do feel an energy, like a pulsing energy, pushing us back towards yeah, the river yeah, from it doesn't want us here. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so we'll be back, definitely, to investigate this area furthermore. Um, yeah, right over there. I just need a moment. Uh, so we're going to come back and definitely check this out. There's definitely a real negative thing here. Now, I physically saw an old hag. Both, I think all three of us heard her cackling yep. in this area, and I just seen the shadow movement in there. Hopefully, we caught some of that on the camera. I don't know. All right, we're moving to the next location. All right, Ron, what, what you got so far, Kel? Not a lot. All right. <laughs> okay. The other day we had an experience here. Before we do anything, we're gonna see what Kelly's up to. Bathing, walking clothes, and I'm drowning. Not in this exact location though. Okay, um, Kelly, I want you to go over onto that rock pile. That rock pile. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm punching. I might fall on top of it. Then some really old fucking trees. Got a visual? I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, I just want you to feel pressure and stuff. How, how the energy and stuff is. Oh, like you see something but you don't know what it is? I don't know what it is. It's just darkness. The feeling of curiosity. Joyful play times. Fun stories. So you're Talk thinking about horrible memories of what happened. So you're thinking like child energy for yeah. children, playing, telling, telling slash listening to stories, curiosity, um, playtime, running around, energy, like yeah. energetic rather. All right. See, what I've known is. When parents were the mostly midwives and whoever would have taken care of the kids would have had them come out with them while they do their laundry. And right now, the only thing I can feel right now is playful energy. And dreams. Like ambitions of what they wanted to be. And it's not exactly a happy type feeling, but it's somewhere in between. So it's not good, it's not bad, it's, it's not just good, is. It's just there. 
some kid strode off a little too far and got washed away with the current. So, you're saying you kind of feel like there's a kid got swept away this way. You're saying a boy child. And all you can feel from his thoughts is the what ifs. The what ifs. And the could have been. The could have been, yeah. Okay. Like there's X amount here, there should be one more. There should be one more, yeah. Okay. So someone is still looking for someone in these riverbanks. So like the caretaker, the been. midwife, whatever, whoever was doing the laundry or whatever it was they were doing here with the kids yeah. is looking for the missing one that yeah. got swept away. All right. Well, it's looking like dad's ready for us to head back that direction. So let's walk back over to him. Okay. All right, what you got over here? I'm Danny. Hey, you got Blaine here. Kelly. Can you tell us your name? What's your name? Is the lady spirit here of the water? Maybe. When you asked name, I think I heard Jason, but I'm not sure. No? Is there a Jason here? Jason, are you here? <coughs> I'm looking for the lady that we see. The water spirit. Lady of the Mist, are you here? Do you know who this is? Who's holding the camera? Who's got the camera? My son? What's my son's name? Who's this over here? Kelly. Blaine, Blaine, that's what I heard. Yeah, Blaine, Blaine, and then Kelly. Can you say Kelly again? Yours? Oh, yeah. What's my name? What's my name? Is there something here that's not good? Yeah, well, what is it? Well, what is it then? You heard it too, eh? Yeah, there is. Beast? Beast, that's what I heard. Did you say there's a beast here? Is there, is there a beast that hangs out here? I thought he said a reaper. I heard two syllables, but I'm not 100% sure what it was. Is there a reaper that hangs out here? That was a kid. Why is a reaper here? Can you tell me why there'd be one here? The only reason I could think for one to be here is because there's more bodies here than people know. Right? That. That's dark. Okay, spirits. We're gonna come back with you. Is the lady who was here on Monday who talked to me here? Why did you thank me? Help. Oh, 
Uh, thank you before I did anything. You will, though. You thank, okay. me, you thank me before I did anything. You will, though. <laughs> All right, just want to clarify that. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Thank you. Okay, well. Okay, Spurs, we're going to leave this area for now. We'll be back in a couple of days. Yeah, we'll be back in a couple of days. Is that fine? I thought I heard that too, and I wanted to see someone else. Leave. So it will be fine if we come back in a couple of days? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay we'll see you then. Bye bye. Thank you for speaking with us. You bet. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> okay, bye. Help. Help. Push. Push shoulder. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, bye. Okay, that was pretty cool. Um, and the best thing is, not just one of us heard the responses, we all heard it. Uh, one would say it, the other two would go, yeah. Okay, so it's good. We got good, clear uh, answers. Uh, we do have another spot to check out, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so as we're walking back, get to the path to go up I'm feeling a heaviness like a pressure like something stepping on or pushing on my lower chest area right here like it's hard to breathe it's heavy it's like the gravity is more significant or stronger in my midsection at the moment and Kelly's got something too okay so it smells not like nature but I guess a body type deal. You smell, you have the scent of death? Or? I have the scent of death. But, and like right now it's. Okay, take a couple oh. of steps this way, up to there. Now, I don't know. Uh, is it there now? Not as much as it was So it's where you are. in the water and along the rocks? Around the rocks, but not on the ground. All right. Oh god. Oh god, it's it's YouTube smells, is that what you said? <laughs> I'm, no, pre no, not YouTube. I'm pretty oh, sure no. you said, oh god, it YouTube smells. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm yeah, pretty sure you obviously. didn't swear. Yeah. yeah. YouTube has a very unique aroma to it. Clearly. Yeah, tasty. Uh. Anytime you're on grass or dirt it's gone, but rocks and water you smell it. Yeah. Or when I'm near the water. It's strange. I don't know how to explain it. It's like well, that's pretty explained. <laughs> so Watching. I'm thinking, I'm thinking what you're feeling is the energy from the nature is balancing out what is not supposed to be here, and the rocks, um, as a solid foundation, have absorbed the energy, and because it's solid, it's hard for it to let go. That could be it. Okay. Well, for an initial. Uh, look around and let's get, I think we got some good stuff. I'm hoping some good stuff recorded. Um, we're going to go back and uh, analyze everything, go through everything. We'll put it up on the cinema. Um, oh. oh, okay, that was gross. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I got it. Uh, I know what you're talking about now. Oh. It's subtle and then it hits you. Yeah, it's just boom. I heard um, a voice and it said, you do not belong. Yeah, that's what they keep telling me. Okay, <laughs> anyway, we'll see you later. Bye.